folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we are to continue straight off from where we left in the last episode. Before we skip ahead, we need to do a few things, set things to sell and that. Because yeah, a lot of stuff to our production at the moment. We can do something like strawberries. We are selling those manually. However, I thought just save on time in that for yeah, you know what? So let's just set these to sell. Obviously, in that episode, we did a lot of work. And yeah, that episode was a time lapse episode because, long story short, recording the issues with the quality of the microphone volume in that. And just other things in that which led to. So you find them recording, went to edit it, and yeah, it's just. was unbearable. So. Yeah, we've got contracts on 32, 63, and 67 still to do. I'll get around to do these contracts at some point. It's so all we'll hay contracts, and we'll go into the forest dealer. So, but yeah, it's production, so we're going to be running out of barley in the next month, so within the next month. But yeah, so things like these, just going to set these to sell. Actually, for the time being, we can set everything to sell, let the production run through, and yeah, just making some profit. So, I'm going to do that. I include these apples, because at the moment they're not really at their best prices. So, yeah, then we get it sorted. So, that is everything set to sell. So, yeah, we'll start skipping ahead time in a sec. What I'm going to do quickly is come over here. And collect our pallets of clothes because it's time to sell the clothes. We'll do it in the morning. That we'll see. Can we lift these up? Yes, we can. So, we've got three pallets of clothes here, and these will be worth about what 31 grand, I think it is. Yeah, I think something like that. 3 31 grand. So, you're going to have a look at the wall. Those we're looking at around thirty thousand pounds. At the moment, we're getting thirty one seven out of value view stores. But yeah, we'll see if we get one more pallet coming through. So yeah, that sort of skips ahead of time. So how much will we get for just skipping this first hour now? Six four eight. Wow. 340 grand out of selling everything, like, including our honeys and that, so, yeah, I'll say overall, not too bad. The only thing we're not selling is our clothes he here, obviously, and I think our bread and that, and cake, so yeah. We'll skip to the morning, get rid of this rain, and then we're going to sell everything else. Alright, so, we did get another pad of clothes, but, you know what, that is fine. And actually, what I'm going to do is, I have noticed there are some wall pads over there. Let's go and grab those. I think it is. Go and grab those. So long live the clue. So, yeah, not too bad. So, let's go back it up here. Go. Let's see if there's any eggs to sell, but I doubt it. There it goes, park up there. I'm going to grab these. We've got one, two, four pallets. You know what? We're here anyways. Wasn't too much of an effort out of our way, so we'll get you one. I'll grab this. So the goal for today is gonna to be also not just sell the wall and close and that. There's also sorry in to get these fields drilled, so Okay, we're on field six now, so just double check, did I go and create these fields? I should go and have a look, because I don't think I've ploughed it yet, no, so that's one thing we've got to do is to plough in, but that is fine, not an issue for us. So yeah, oh yeah, we've got the mask over here, that's ready. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go get these sold. And then I think we'll start the plowing. I 
I see how much money we can make. So, right, we're just going to. Well, I think it's Bayview Stores. We're going to take these clothes. So, yeah. Bayview Stores, because price has gone up to just shy of 32 grand. So, for what? I think half bad of a deal. So, we should easily hit that £1 million mark now. So, let's go and sell these. And sell a pallet of bread and cakes whilst we're here as well. So yeah, that is a million and ten raw now. So yeah, we've got to plow fields ten. Ooh, so much honey over here we need to move over. Do it whilst we're here. So yeah, ten needs to be plowed and all that. And six, actually we need to get on that because I have not windrowed that at all. So yeah. We need to get this done. So yeah, then get this all transferred over. And then I'll see you folks at field six. And there we go. So that is a honey transferred over. So yeah, we've got field six to do and this is gonna be a huge field. Why is there bits of grass? I do not know for sure, but yeah, why was that Ted it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so we need to plow this and lime it. Same with the other one, so that I think we'll get round to in the next episode. But for now, we need to focus on getting these fields actually ready because we want to be drilling ideally next month in May. Obviously, we've got until June or July for the carrots, but I want to get everything planted as soon as possible just so that we can have that bit of buffer window when it comes to turning over the fields. And yeah, just simply focus on just getting everything done correctly. So yep, yeah, should be breaking in this. There we go. Making hay whilst the sun is shining. Careful there. But yeah, then what we'll do afterwards is we'll go and grab the trader. Yeah, the trader and that lorry. Get your spells loaded up, and then, like in last episode, we'll storm at Stonebridge Farm. Because, yeah, the moment we don't really need hay at the moment. Our cows and that, sheep and rabbits are all topped up. They've all got extra bells about. However, there's nothing wrong with having a little stockpile. So, yeah, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So that is the wind room done. And yeah, just have a look, see if there's any bells up here. No, just making sure there's no bells left over because I do have a habit of leaving bells unattended. So, anyways, we'll pop down here. 
So yeah, overall that wasn't too bad, if I'd say. And yeah, now what to do is... Ah, there we go. I had to change where it came from the bed to the ground. So, yeah, we'll get these picked up and then we'll take them to Stonebridge Farm and store them. And yeah, the thing next we'll do is to plow in. But yeah, overall, it is all going well so far. Hope everyone's had a good old Happy New Year Nat. Into 2024 with a bang. Obviously, recently, sorry, new test play series. You gotta check it out yet, please do. And that is a Vintage Survival. So, pretty much like Survival Challenge, like I have been doing on New Man's Land. But, yeah, with that, the whole goal of it is just gonna be scaled back. Things like new bank clones, no leasing in general. Things like Phil Flipping, no Pivo. I rarely do Phil Flipping nowadays. I may flip the old field here and there, of course, but nothing in general. Yeah, I think so far, first three episodes are out, and well, episodes two and three have not only just gone out, but yeah, first episodes went out with. I think a general good. Oh, what's the word? A general good response, is that what's the word? I didn't even think it, even the last episode of Core Farm. That really went off well, so glad that you folks are enjoying it. If so, always remember to smash that like button and a lot of other good stuff. So let's go out of here. Just brace the hedges so you don't clip. Oops. Like that. Got a bit too much hedge shatter in the face, yeah. So yeah, where we're storing it is, I think there's one of these little sheds down here. Yeah, that one there next to the blue one. And yeah, we're simply store them there until we need them for the cows. I very much doubt I'll be doing tier bar again, but never say never. And I don't know why I drove down here because now we're stuck. You know what? Let's we'll leave it there. So. If we're going to have a look, we've already got eight bells stacked up, that's 32,000 years each. And we've got another eight bells, so... Let's get them off loaded. All hunky-dory. And as before, I'll get these stacked away. Then yeah, I think next we'll focus on the plowing. Because I want to get the red beets, carrots and parsnips in the ground as soon as possible. And actually, can we get a double... Yeah, I think we actually get all that in the back there, so... Man, this will have potential for huge storage of bells. So anyways, let's go and get this back and we'll put this where we usually keep it, at the pallet facility and yeah, we'll be using those again just at the moment, just having a little break from doing like, all the pallet transfers and that, so send them to sell. As we go into the summer and that, as we start approaching the harvest season, so yeah, more and more I'll start storing these pallets and when it comes to the best himself, that's where I think then we will flourish. So, break. Overshot the entrance there. So, we'll put us over here, then we'll hop into the Massey and get that sorted because I think overall the profits from this is going to be huge. So, and obviously, the million quid is like, yeah, oh, a million quid. However, we need to purchase the harvester and that, and that's going to be 600 grand. The production chains and that, that's going to be about 300 to 450 grand on its own, so... Yeah, we need to use this money for sure. There we go. Just part over here. 
now we're at the mass scene. There we go, as, as was it, another six grand or so we're getting every hour, so I'm not sure how long that will keep up for. But yeah, so we got all this field here, pretty much up to the gates and that. That is our our fields and that, so what to do is lower this. See, I'll just want to a rough headland at the very least, especially on that top part. Now, where, how far do we go down here? I'm thinking somewhere like here, and then start turning. Here we go, something like that, I think. And we just shave it off on the edges, so something like that. Obviously, I want to get as far as I can to the gates, but not too close. So when we're using the harvester, we're just whacking it constantly. So I don't mind leaving a few meters and about a meter or two's gap. I think actually where we cut it is a very good boundary. So obviously, as you go over, that's when the ground does go a bit up a bit, I guess in when they had to put this in and that, they had to do a bit of drain reforming, like, you know, get some, either some dirt in or dig up dirt from certain areas and then reusing that dirt as you would do normally in things like civil engineer projects where we just get dirt and just dump it and get rid of it. A lot of the times, I think you'll realise is, especially when it comes to, you know, like urban developments and that, like, and a few other things like, follow for a few channels like uh, Real, uh, what was it, Practical Engineer and that, and a few other engineering channels and that. Who do a lot more proper in depth actually into it. But yeah, it's just amazing how Civ Engine works and times like the practicality of it all, and just like, again, the level of details like he was into it. Anyways, obviously with this field, we do have these pylons, we've got three over there on field six. And actually as well, surprise, like, look at the size is, we've got pretty much the exact same amount of bells compared to number ten with six, so... But then again, we are doing 32,000 of bells, and there's just probably a bit more heat now, I think, left in the bigger afterwards, but... Yeah, it does make you wonder. And that is the boundary done, so that's this sorted. Now to do down there. And this shouldn't be too much of an issue or complications, really just more on the paths and that, so we'll lower it down. And yeah, just do Little things like this, obviously it's gonna be all perfectly angled and squared. And that's the thing, you won't get that, so it ain't gonna be really the most worker friendly, but it's fine enough. I think mean, I was intentionally just giving it a lot more space than it needs, especially when it comes to harvesting that. And seed as well, like, you still need to see this, and actually, do we need to do the ridge marking? Because if we get a yield bonus of it, because of the fertilizing, pretty much, so we have a little look here. And apparently, we don't need to do any ridge marking to get that yield bonus. Alright. Because for the most part, we'll be at maximum yieldage, but to be honest, I may still do the ridge marking. It's going to be a lot of work, but 
I'm up for that challenge, but yeah, sorry anyways. Pretty much now, it's pretty much straightforward to do the rest of these fields, so... Let's get all these done in a little, nice little time lapse, so yeah. We'll get this done, and I'll see you folks around, perhaps around about lunchtime. Plowing, so that is the uh, rocks we need to be picked now. And do we rock pick them now, or do we line them? Line the fields first of all. I know it should be cut from the hedges, but that, that will annoy me later on. It's like when I go some plows, like how do I miss those little spots now? I do not know, but as I was saying, we need to line. As well as getting rid of stones, so I would roll stones in because since it's a new field, there's only small rocks, so it would be fine, but I'm thinking, yeah, that's lime. We'll see that. Did we do that with those fields last time or a while ago? About a couple of hours ago when we had all the wheat in that and ended up regretting it. Oh, I can't remember. Actually, maybe worth actually. Uh, yeah, I think it was I had issues last time with missing bits and that when we lined first, so. I think. We should. Rock pick first. A little bump through there. Yeah, should rock pick first. Then we see the texture differences. And then line. Either way, it needs to be done regardless, so I'm not too fast. And yeah, we got like 50,000 litres of lime in here still. 150,000 litres of solid fertilizer, 40,000 litres of seeds, and 50,000 litres of liquid fertilizer. So, I think, just something like that, unless we start doing liquid fertilizer in our fields, we should be fine for a fair while. I won't say for the remainder of the series because I don't know how long this series go. I know we're in like episode 48 now, 47, 48, something like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving Corp Farm, enjoying it. 
Even though I don't see it as a small map, you compare it to other maps, especially while you've played recently, in my own time, doing just little saves here and there, dipping and dabbing, apart from like the proper small maps, like... Oh, I can't think of, I can't think of the name of the one. Oh, the base game... Is it Urban Grant? One? Oh, the base game... LP map from FS19. That's in here now as base game. Not right around, I'm not sure, but that, that's a relatively small map in a way. And seeing that, that's the thing with maps when I say, oh, this is a small map, this is a big map, it's all about perspective. Like, this map is your typical UK size. Like, I can vouch for that. I've not just been around Somerset region where I live and that, I've also been doing a bit of traveling, been up to the Highlands, Scotland and that. Be down to the other than that. Even heck, he went to popped into Chicken Norton a couple of months ago. I did when I was in uh, Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire, not Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire. And yeah, on the way back, after seeing some friends, now I thought, oh. well, what I was saying, Chicken Norton was like what? 10, 15 minutes away, so I thought, oh, sure, I can't pass this up, you know, go to Clarkson's farm that, see the farm shop and that, and yeah, went there, and yeah, for reasons I didn't stay too long, because I need to get on the road and that, get back to where I am, and in particular, yeah, I may have had a fun night, let's put it that way, a fun night. And that's when I wanted us to bring any attention to myself, so... Yeah, so... Popped in there... Yeah, just... Took some photos for myself now... And yeah, just went on back home, simple as that... But I know... Oh... What's the map called? Oh, the Hemshire by Bill... That is coming along really nicely, like... Seeing screenshots of it... And the one he recently just posted last night, or as this morning, was with the Esso Garage. Why not we'll have Esso in on the console version? I'm not sure, because of, again, licensing and all that, and that's... Okay, yes, yeah, so, well, one little downside of perhaps FS2 is the licensing, but... You so much giants can do on that, to be honest, I think personally. Well, at least that's how I think about it. And then again, I could be wrong. It's just me who thinks about that. But yeah, I know. That's why we didn't have four. That's why we have, like, the lizards. The blue lizard tractors and that. Or the recent ones we had, these were like beige, yellow. There's a track one. That's a Mercedes tractor and that. And also. A lot of companies with hard money now, even if the game developer was a certain brand in the game. Either pay a fee or just say, yeah, use our brand image, because it was all about trademarking. But it's not copyright, it's trademark, so yeah, I get that, but that's one of the things uh, with FS25. I know Farcom is this year, it will not surprise me. And I'm saying this, there's no, I don't know nothing about it. Maybe part of the Giants Partner Program, but I don't know nothing about Forum 25 or if there's going to be a Forum 25, but I think that's one of the things Giants need to do with the next game with. It will be next gen, current gen only, not next gen, because next gen is the PlayStation 6 and whatever Microsoft decides to call their new Xbox consoles, because. Man, ah, with Xbox and Microsoft, oh, they need to use all the way with Play 360, One and Series X and S. Oh, that's next gen. Current gen is the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. What I'm playing is last gen, PS4 Pro, and uh, no Farm System 25 would be on last gen console. In a way, I'll say that, I don't know for sure, but. Way or in like what two, three years, about three years now into the cycle of the PlayStation 5 in that. 
to agree with the fairness that a lot of games nowadays come out are PS5 only. When they come out for PlayStation, they didn't come out on current gen only, not last gen. That's like with uh, GT6. You know, that's going to come after Farm Simulator 25. About, as I guess, four months after Farm Simulator 25 comes out. That's based on Farm Simulator tends to release around uh, November time. And I'm predicting GT6 will come out end of March, early April 2025. Uh, that's just me guessing and that. Will I be? Will I be? Can't really explain now, but there's a method to the madness behind that. But anyway, it's that sad. But yeah, with Forms 25, things like have a key kind of follow me course play option. Because yeah, I get it can't have scripted mods on console because Microsoft and Sony, thank you very much, but now scripted mods in games, but if they can be that as part of the game feature itself, then something like, not something like this, but with what I'm going to be doing, maybe on Vintage Survival with doing the root props now. Have a pull along, or so that pulls it that's on the ground, I want to pick it up using an old sort of pick up and chucks it across to a train next to me. Let's say if I have a combine here, Uber's out and tractors on the left hand side. That kind of thing of trailer and pick up, pick up option. Yeah, have something like that as part of base game. That would be nice. More crop types? Yeah, there's so many crops potentially we can have. That's within the realm of, again, we've got to think about what can be done now with what giants could do. I'm not sure about the whole finances of things, because I know they're not Rockstar Gaming in our team too, but there's certainly a lot of things that can be implemented from real life. Like precision farming, that was a huge addition to the game, especially with. Yeah, I think it was with Farmson 22, yeah it was, where it was like specially developed and that with the European Council and that stuff. A little, little more things like that, add that bit more realism. But again as well, yeah, do you have to care to or try to care for everyone? Things like logging. I know that is a controversial issue. But yeah, I love logging, have some logging features and that. Uh, with productions with FS22, it is a game changer in that. Yeah, don't get me wrong, there has been points where it can go over the top. I went over the top and regretted it, but it's having the features there that makes the game better for some people. Have those options, like, don't need to use it. Like with productions, don't have to use the productions, but it's there as an option. And on maps and that, it can be cell points if it's implemented into the map. I don't have to buy it to sell at it, but if I want to use that production, then yeah, you have to buy it. Yeah, still things like that, just add little stuff. Also, disable vehicle camera collision. Where is that to? I know that was developed by Giants in FS19. Yeah, like. So, so, so much with this, but I know what I'm using with some other implements. There's vehicle camera collision, like. Yeah, I tried to do it with this, but. Not getting it with this, but how am I going to see with vehicle collision? Because with some equipment, sometimes it can get very annoying in that way, with a lot of it. But yeah, that's my little rant on that. I may do a video on it. Which I should do. I know from Cod Day 1 recently, have looked at it yet, and until I do my video on that, I perhaps won't look at it because I want to use my own ideas on that. And as well, feedback from the community as well. What do you want to see in Farm Simulator 25? There's so many options we can go with Farm Simulator 25 to even make it better than FS22. 
and having the three year game life cycle makes sense when you compare it to normal games that comes out every one year that there it comes a drain on resources and that and the quality of games over the last couple of years now, especially in 2023. Some of its sequel games or annually released games, such as Formula One and that, have been absolute garbage. But yeah, as I say, that's the random lever. Let's get the rest of this done, and then that's where I think we'll leave it to. So yeah, let's get the rest of the rock picking done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. left to go and then yeah with these rocks we will get crushed and produced into lime so it is what fifteen and a half thousand meters so yeah not too bad overall but yeah all these are small rocks we've been picking so hopefully it feels like any other field at the moment which is all what big chunky boys in then yeah that'll be different but Anyways, here's what it is, so let's go and put this over into the stone crusher. And there we go, so let's go and part this here, get the stones put in. And yeah, we'll just give this a quick wash so what side is emptying. It should be enough for I think, yes, yeah, topped up with so should be all good. But yeah, let's put it get this washed and we'll go and return this as well. Just bring the chassis. But man, so how big is that is like the paint is wears off so quickly on this. There's only downside about if you do go ahead and purchase this, but uh that's what I was thinking, it's got way the frozen cotton, so Anyway, let's get this thing turned on. So turned on, set cell. There we go. And I think that's pretty much it for the time being. Get a bit of lime to do that in the next episode. Won't skip for time yet. Yeah, I think we've got ooh, maybe another hour or so daylight before it gets too dark. But yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it today. Anyways, so next time what we'll be doing is lighting the fields, and then we'll start prepping these for the 
vegetable. So we'll do. Uh, what was it the ridge marking? Is it? Yeah, the creating the ridges. So we'll be marking those ridges, and then hopefully in the same episode or the one after, we'll finally be seeding the vegetables. That I am looking forward to so much. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you're nice today. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.